Now I know what you're thinking. Marissa, Amaya, whatever the heck you want to be called, why are you putting up another video when the MegaCon vlogs aren't done? You see, the thing is, I got some surprise for you. Sup nerds, so you can probably tell by the title of the video that today's video is a little, 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 little bit exciting because I have some humongous news. Humongous. Like, big news doesn't even begin to cover how gigantic this news is. And yes, I'm going to have to be that person, that YouTuber, we all know, click baby title. I have to do it just because I can't spoil the contents of this video. But you know, I feel like if you don't do a clickbait title at least once, are you really a YouTuber? Again, big news. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting for me. Very exciting for me. I don't know if y'all will be excited, but I hope you will be excited for me. I'm nervous and I'm rambling. Oh boy. So now that we've switched angles and now you can see my face a whole lot better, I'm sorry, I'm the why am I like this? So, like I said, very exciting news. I'll get to the point so I'm not wasting your time or my time or anybody's time. I'm sorry. The more I talk, the more I just dig myself into a never ending hole of. Oh, shut up, drum roll, please. I am going to be working for Disney. to be working for Disney. I am actually have already done the onboarding paperwork and this is something that I did. So backstory, backstory, backstory. I've been looking for a job ever since April when I was getting out of my last semester, last semester, previous semester at college and I was looking for a job so that I'd have something for the summer that way when I I would still be making money and all that. But what ended up happening was I didn't get a job until the beginning of this month, which is August. Literally August 1st I got a job um, at a nearby Taco Bell, but um, we won't talk about that because that's not what this video is about. I ended up looking for jobs like crazy for from April through May. June, July, nothing. You know, I got a couple interviews here and there, but it was all like, no, no. We want somebody who's going to be here for, you know, more than a couple months, so what's your point of even applying for a job that you're going to be here for a month and a half? Yeah, you're right. You're right. The only reason I'm taking a semester off right now I'm taking a semester off right now just because I was supposed to have passed a test. I'm not stupid. Hamilton voice, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid? The test, though, that I had to take and pass by a certain time frame, I didn't pass the test because it's more of a subjective, comprehensive kind of test. So it was more like a what situation applies this to this, not a 1 plus 1 is 2. Maybe I am stupid. I could not pass the test by the deadline. I finally passed the test. Whee! I passed the test. And now I won't have to worry about it for next semester, but next semester will be my last semester because I'm not taking my, I'm not doing my last semester. This semester, I had to get a job. So back to applying, applying, applying like crazy. No, 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 no. And then I found out I was staying, so then I could be could apply to other places and be like, hey, guess what? I am going to be here full time, so <laughs> I applied for a whole bunch of places and then I got in my head, hey, what if you did the Disney College program? And I was like, 
Man, me, you're a genius. I know. So I tried to do that, but joke's on me because applications weren't available for the fall semester because it was already pretty much fall. It was July and people were already, had already pretty much gotten their acceptances and were moving in and all this kind of stuff. And then I was like, well, joke's on me because I can't do that. So I was really upset. I continued looking for jobs around the area and then my mom mentioned to me was like, hey, what about if you just applied for a Disney job, like a normal Disney job? So that's what I did. I was able to look online and I found a position open for a food and beverage host hostess. So I was like, okay. I applied, I did the online application and a couple hours after that I got, or the next day, time frame doesn't matter, I got an email saying, hey, we like you, go ahead and fill out this web-based interview, and I was like, oh, okay, and so I did that, and I passed that. After an hour or so, I got an email saying, hey, we'd like for you to schedule a phone interview, and I was like, So after, I scheduled it for after my family trip to New York, and then I finished that, came back, and had been preparing the whole time while we were in New York, just constantly to be like, study, watch every single Disney phone interview, and look up all the resources. And I did, went through all that, and I... Finished the, I finished the phone interview and the person that I talked to was really nice and she said, she said, yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put you on this wait list and it's going to last you about six months. Six months, okay, that's fine, that's great. Thank you, I love Disney. I didn't know how long I was going to be without a job because it could have been six months, it could have been a day. It wasn't either of those things. I ended up getting an email a couple days ago, maybe sometime last week. Time is... Time is a human construct. I got an email and it said, Congratulations Marissa, we'd like to offer you a position as a part-time food and beverage host hostess at the Contemporary Resort. Insert picture of the Contemporary. Oh my god. <laughs> and I freaked out because it was 11 o'clock at night and I had two days to accept this offer. And I was like, oh my god. I'm going to be working for Disney. Oh my god. <laughs> so I was like, I ran to my mom and was like, look, look at this. Do you see this? She gave my iPad. <laughs> Did you see this? And she was like, well, now we gotta figure all that out. And so I ended up talking to my manager over at Taco Bell and being like, hey, I'm not this kind of person, but I gotta go. Disney is my dream job. She was like, cool, I wanna work at Disney. I was like, great, you do. So my, my last day is actually tomorrow, but at, at the time that I'm filming this. But all of this is information you don't need to know, so I'll just make a time thing at the beginning of my rant for you to skip if you don't care about this information and land you here. So long story short, I had my onboarding appointment, which is basically just paperwork, and I that was today the day I'm filming this, and I did it, and that, and my traditions date is September 2nd at 8.30 in the morning, so this Saturday, so I'm going to be doing that. That's gonna be a thing that's happening. I'm 
going to be working for Disney. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Disney has been an absolute dream job for me ever since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to work for Disney in some way and now I get to fulfill that dream. So I'm so happy and so excited. I will be moving to Orlando since my house is about two hours from Disney so I would not want to be making that commute. I will be moving probably Saturday and I will be working for Disney. How many times have I said that in this video? It just kind of hit me recently. I was like, oh man, this is real. Oh man. Oh, I gotta be working for Disney. All of that long 14 minute rambling of me filming just to say I'm going to be working for Disney and I'm so happy and excited and I can't wait. And I have been sitting on this news for days, and it's so hard. It's, it was so hard for me to sit here and wait, and I still can't say anything. Until I've said things to a lot of people, but not people really that watch my videos. I am just so grateful for this opportunity to work for Disney. I'm so excited. So, I'll probably be putting this video out there very soon because I can't sit on this news anymore. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know if you like Disney. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Disney. Disney. Disney World. This is real. Dreams come true, kids. <laughs> Thank you, nerds, again so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Maybe I'll do some Disney vlogs, maybe more, or maybe I'll create a whole other channel. I don't know. That'll be the comment. So if you want to go ahead and comment and let me know if you would like to see just a whole other separate vlog, separate vlog channel just for Disney-related content, then let me know. If not, Disney's just gonna be on this channel too, cause why not? Could be on another channel though, who knows? I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you again so much for watching for the third time, and I will talk to you y'all nerds very soon. Bye! Dreams come true, y'all! <laughs>